Today, the unthinkable happened. I got to negotiate inside of a thrift store back room. Let's talk about it. One of the wildest things ever to happen in our short career of reselling is like right, right there. Yeah, we had to make a video about it because it's probably never going to happen again. So we figured we'd talk about it. Yeah, we'll uh, show it to our kid when she gets older. It's like right. the one day that we scored all these weeds in a thrift store. So um, the plan for this video, uh, because a lot of people have asked about this too. Mm -hmm. So first we're going to, I'll talk about the story, like what, what, what the heck just happened with all this. Um, we're gonna then talk about testing. Mondo's gonna show you guys how easy it is to test mm -hmm. all this. And then at the end, we'll kind of talk about organizing and lotting and, you know. Yeah, like we normally do when we have big lots. It's weird to talk about video games as a big lot, but yeah. uh, how we normally do of how are we gonna separate it? What do we do our process of walking through and figuring out what's gonna sell separate and what's gonna sell together? You know, the funny thing is there's another Wii bundle behind us and a GameCube bundle in front of me so all of this we picked up today the other thing too is like i honestly i haven't looked i only like peeked at this stuff so it's all untested and um i know there's valuable games in here so this will be an unboxing too so let's do that first and then we'll go from there so there i was doing some shopping late last night and i found a nintendo gamecube lot for sale on facebook marketplace and i was like geez i'll go and buy it However, this GameCube lot was in an area that I don't travel to often. It was about a half hour drive away from us. So I had to make sure that it was worth my time. So I looked up some of the value of those games before I went out and some of them I already knew. So let me show you a sneak peek of what those games look like. So these were the games included and I'll pop up the comps for each one of them. Uh, hopefully they all work. There's that one. There's this guy. There's this one that I got really excited about because I've never seen it before in live. Too bad it only has the disc. A cheap game. A decent game. A very expensive game. A nice, very expensive game. And a decent to cheap game. So these are the games that came with the bundle plus the console and the controller. So we're going to get into testing a GameCube. Um, there's a lot of money in these games. That's that's why I, I, I did the drive because the value of the games is, is fantastic. So the transaction went smoothly. She even brought a VCR that I bought. Hey, why not? And now I have another connection of someone that wants to sell me stuff. Great. After the transaction, a tired of Dean sitting in a parking lot away from home. What do I do? I look up thrift stores. That's what I do. So I Google thrift stores and behold, there was one just down the street. I got back in the car, drove it over, and parked in front of it, and there was already a gentleman waiting, so I thought, this is the best thrift store ever. I went on Instagram to tell everyone about my fantastic GameCube find, because that's what I do, that's what Molda and I do, we share all of our knowledge on Instagram, and I thought, well, I don't know, see the clip here, is it worth it? I don't know, I, I even thought to myself, well, maybe the wait is worth it or not, so I had to wait 20 minutes to get inside. I was second through the door, a lady beat me through it, but she doesn't look for wee stuff like I do, so I was okay letting her in. So I did my thing. I went around, I checked shoes, and I found these beautiful Nikes. They should sell for about $40 to $60 shipped. Excellent condition. And then a nice size pair of 7 for All Mankind. And I thought, well, I guess this wasn't really worth my time. So I went up front and I asked, hey, do you work here? I'd like to check out. And she said, yes, of course. I'm ready. And I said, ah, I'm not ready. Why weren't you ready, Adeem? That's an excellent question, Melinda. Because I wanted to look around the counter where they have the expensive stuff. And I found something. I found these Wii Motions for 7 or six fifty each. Found four of them. And a Wii Resort big box for $15. And I thought, this is strange. How did I have four of these and one of these, but no other Wii stuff? Something doesn't add up. Hmm. That's what I thought too, Melinda. Hmm. So I asked the lady, hi lady, do you have any other Wii stuff? And she replied, yeah, uh, let me go, I'll check in the back. Okay, sounds good. Uh, do you want me to follow you? That's fine. So I followed her 
and I stood by the back room, checked the post I put on Instagram, and another lady came and said, come on in. I don't know what to do with this stuff. We don't even know how to test it. Insert clip here of my reaction. So I saw all of this stuff. So if you want to pan over here, well, I saw three stacks of these on their testing table. This box of rock band stuff, because they said they had like drums, and then an entire box of guitars. Guys, this was like, this is one of the most insane things I've, I've ever done or seen. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. So, I looked inside, I checked all the boxes and all the consoles and cables were there, so that was good. And then I looked inside this big box and there was extra games in there, and I think some of the dongle co connectors. And then, of course, the big thing of guitars. I got to negotiate in the back of a thrift store, which is just unheard of. Um, so I'll tell you guys what I paid for everything, but right now Molda and I are going to go through and organize it. So we're going to do that first and then we're going to do some testing, show you guys that it's not that complicated. And then we're going to show you how we look it up and how we're going to make these lots. So let's get to work. It's so funny. So all that happened and then I was planning on picking up this Facebook market deal as well. So we'll talk about that. We'll include it too. So here is everything. Monda and I are going to do some unboxing. So Monda, you have the, the, the honor and the pleasure and the excitement of starting. Let's see what's in here. I'm really hopeful there's some games inside of the units as well. So let's get them all out and uh, let's take a peek one by one. See if you can find some hidden value. Console. Check. Stand. Yep. Check. Boards. Okay, it looks complete. Um, nothing special or crazy. No, no extra games. No surprise additions, but there still might be one in the console. Yeah, we'll so check. So you never know. Looks like this was some sort of um, library that donated it, judging by those stickers. All right, so that's one. Oh, I only peeked inside of these. I honestly just peeked inside of this one too. So we'll see. Okay, box number two. Okay, looks a little different. There's a blue controller. All right, so console and everything. Okay. It's got all the basics with the cords, but it does have a white controller, a blue controller. Nice. So that's fun. Another white controller. And bundles tend to do better when you have two controllers. So For sure. It's good to see all these controllers. And then a black nunchuck and a white nunchuck. So. Yeah. All right. I think this good. this belonged to some sort of special edition. It did, yeah. yeah. With the, I think there's a blue console out there too. Yeah, there is. And I know there's a, a I red one. I also have a black console. Yep. So we yeah. might pair this nunchuck with that, depending on what we have with that one. Okay, that's box number two. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. So far, I'm giving the thrift store an A+. Plus. Thanks, Let's thrift store. Let's see how the third box performs. Is three a charm? Oh, oh all right. okay, good. Well, more controllers. Okay, let's see. All right, so here's all the basic stuff. So, yeah, that's great. Uh, one, two, three, four regular controllers and four nunchucks. So, nice. that's awesome. That's a score. Yeah, for sure. Sweet. So, we have it about two controllers per console there at least which is sort of a basic bundle at that point, and then it's what can you build onto it with games and accessories from there. So sweet. This is nuts. So one thing I'll mention about the Wii guitars is that they don't require a dongle because you, if you want to flip it, um, so yeah. So you actually take your controller and plug it into the guitar, and then, uh, that controls it. So that's the nice part. You don't need any extra accessories. So these are ready to test without having to buy dongles or in other words, receivers. Toddy is very, very interested in this, by the way. She's right there. Okay, so we have... Here, let's move them this way. Three red ones. And looks like these are the Aerosmith uh, Special Edition. So that's yeah. nice. And they're super clean, too. They're missing the necks. The necks are in there, I hope. Yep, so we have one, two, okay, so it looks like another red one, so okay. four red ones, and three white ones. So that's what it is first. Okay, so 
Yeah. So good. Nice, so four and four. Nice. So okay. does not look like okay, we so we have half of the the neck. Half the neck. So that's ah. interesting. Yeah, we'll have to contact them and see if they have the rest. Right. Because yeah, they're we can do that worthless. I mean the necks you don't are something you usually like find very often by themselves. No. So it's not like oh we'll just <laughs> yeah. handy until we we'll find, we'll find more necks. necks in the wild. Probably not gonna um, happen. Unless we have guitars that, you know, don't work and aren't are cheaper, we might we could maybe take the necks off, but yeah. Uh, we'll lacking see. that, it might just be we pair them up so they can interchange the guitars. That would be an option too, I suppose. Yeah, we'll see. Or sell them for parts. Yeah. You know, sell just the bottom for parts. We'll see. There's so, still value there. Uh, and three guitar hero threes. So. What's inside? You need to check. Just to make sure they're in there. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Right, cool. So that's good because if you can include a game with all your guitar stuff then they can plug and play so they don't have to buy it separate it makes your bundles more appealing absolutely all right the big one bum, ba -da -bum. that one so when i first saw adine's photo that he sent me i thought this was the rock band special edition in the box i was like what just happened and then i checked instagram but it's not that but look at this this is not a, I mean, this is not worse than that by any means. So we have two of these Wii Resorts and they look sealed. So that's one, crazy. One is for sure sealed. The other one is open, but I checked inside and oh, it's this new. Oh, one is open. Yeah. Yes. Yep. It's sealed on the bottom, not on the top. So that's an awesome find. I've never, so this is, I saw one of them and then they had the other one. So they priced this one at 15 and I got this one with the bundle. Um, these go for about 60 to $70 with free shipping. So that's that's obviously an awesome score. Uh, yeah, Wii Sports it, Resort is just a great game for the Wii. Yeah, it's a classic. So yeah, for sure. a good one. Staple. And then these, these are sealed. So these are new in box. Looks like they were $20 originally. Uh, six fifty is what they are on there. Did you pay six fifty a piece? I did. Or did they really yeah, because okay. these were these were all up front. This is what got me intrigued to ask. And these go for about twenty to thirty dollars for free shipping. They're just the uh, Wii Motion Plus sensors that you need to play games like this one. So we'll bundle them probably by twos, or we'll figure something out. Okay, and then some sleeves for remotes. One, two, three, four, five, six seven clear ones and two black ones Let me just toss them in there so those are good those are just bonuses yep. no they don't necessarily affect the price of a bundle but it doesn't hurt to include them yep and then another uh white control yep and then that one does have the yeah this is the motion sensor one yeah. too which is this piece at the bottom uh if you're if you're wondering what yeah. we're talking about with that motion sensor that's what this piece is specifically this yep. is just a regular remote this is needed to play certain games. This Correct. Piece. So it looks like steering wheel. Room, room. That's pretty self-explanatory. So just, uh, I guess the one thing I'll mention about the steering wheel is that again, it doesn't have a wire or anything. You just plug in your um, uh, control, and then you obviously pretend to drive it in the air. They're popular for var uh, Mario Kart and some other games like NASCAR and racing games. Okay, and there are more controllers, another uh, black one with the motion sensor here on the bottom, regular white one, here's another nunchuck. Nice. So, that's cool. Good in here. Oh, and another white one. Good. Awesome. So I actually, remotes. It's great. you know what's funny? We'll take down one of our current listings and we'll put in another remote because it'll help it sell a lot faster. Yes, yeah, so I was actually thinking that same thing. And then in the rack, the drum set is in here. So two of the bases, another steering wheel, another sleeve. Here's the top of the drum kit. Nice. Everything looks to be super good. clean. Okay, good. And it's it connects via USB, which is nice. So you don't need a dongle or a wireless receiver for that. So that's nice. Okay. The foot pedal. Yep, this necessary. Thing. Two microphones, so that's good for a set. Nice. So, and it does have, these are just the connector sticks for the rest of the drum bass, and then it does come with the sticks too, which is great, because usually 
these will be the accessories that go missing in sets. And we bought a bundle before, but it's always nice when they're included. We don't have to add an extra cost. Uh, extension cord, very important. What is this? So this is a, this, this actually allows you to plug in multiple things into, this is just a USB, um, what is it called? I mean, basically it just, it turns one USB into four, so you can connect more items like micro, microphones, microscopes, I was going to say. <laughs> basically so you can play with more people, yep. kind of. I think that's it. Well, so, we didn't cover the games. Oh yeah, the games, so, that's important. And then the last part of this box are the games. A uh, really good amount of games. Uh, Rock band. Yes. Checked. Good. Another, Another rock, rock band. band. Good. Another guitar hero. And a good amount of Wii Sports. So there's one, two, three. And these are about $20 games just by themselves. And we like to put them with bundles because it is a desirable game and it makes your bundle more desirable. So this is a great inclusion in this box. For sure. Another Wii Sports Resort. So this is something where we may actually uh, bundle two of these V motion sensors with the resort because you need them to play that game. So uh, we'll right. see. A Wii Play, some good classic basic games. Nothing crazy about it, but it's just nice to have it for bundling. Yep, that game is pretty worthless. It's about three to five dollars by itself, but again, like Mola said, great for consoles. This one. Yeah, this is a good one. A very good one. So this is a very good one. We don't have the prices memorized, but anything Mario you want to look up. It usually does very well. So we may sell it with a bundle. We might actually pull this one aside and sell it separately. For sure. Yeah, we, it's hard to, the, the market fluctuates with these games too. So it's just, it's hard to memorize all of them for sure. And then a Just Dance 2. These are good, especially if you find enough to make a bundle of them. The Just Dance are pretty popular. They're a fun activity game. Kids like them, adults like them. Just, just good. Nothing crazy by itself, but again, good for bundling. And then also, we have picked this one up a number of times, Mario Party 8. Again, we'll pop up comps here. Great game. Uh, we Again, we may include it, but we also may sell it separately. That one sells, uh, we just listed and sold a couple of these. So these complete sell between $35 and $40 free shipping. And there's another Dance Dance Revolution. So we could put pair that with the other dance one. And another Guitar Hero, so nice. that's always good. If we don't bundle them now, we can always save them and bundle them later too. And then there was also some Xbox games in there. Okay, so Halo, yep. Yeah, Halo. They actually all look like Halo. They're all the same game. Yep, they're Which all is Xbox fine. 360 <clears throat> and all Halo. Halo so. Yeah, Halo 4s, they're not, they're probably worth like three, four dollars each, but again, they're good for sets, so. Right. Hey, if they're in there, they're in there. Yeah, almost, I would consider them like maybe a bonus. Yeah. So. Is that it? That's it? Only that? Uh, only all of that. Uh, but yes, we've reached the end of the unboxing. Guys. If I had paid somebody money for this, I'd be very happy with my return. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm pretty stoked. There's, it's there's crazy. so much. This is such like, this stuff sells like hotcakes for us. Super yeah. easy to test and list. We um, told you what did he paid for it all yet yeah i got to name my own prices so we'll, we'll save that to to the end um yeah, yeah let's get into testing so mona's gonna show you guys how to test the stuff mm -hmm. uh what you need for a wii i mean they're all pretty straightforward and that gamecube too she'll show you so let's do that before we get into the testing part this is the other v bundle that i picked up today so i did pay a hundred dollars for all of this here and i paid a hundred dollars for it because well we just, like three days ago, sold just the console, two controllers, and this game for 110 by itself. So there's our money back, plus $10. But it also included these games. This is a very good game, a solid game, a cheap game, very good game. Cheap game, good for fit boards. If you have those, it's always nice to pair them with these. I, don't, I have no idea about this one. I have to look it up. So mystery, and then I have no idea about this one. So 
I paid for it because really of these four titles. Like Melinda said, anything Mario, look it up because Mario and Zelda are just classic titles that hold their value really well. So we'll, we have to test this one as well. So what type of TV do you need to test a older system like a Nintendo Wii? That's a great question, Nadine. What you're gonna need is a television where it's possible to plug in some AV cords here. Yeah. That's gonna allow the units to talk to one another. That's right. So let's get these things set up and roll right through them. I'm gonna get the Wii set up and we're gonna test a couple games. We do test all of our games before we sell them. It's a lot of hard work playing video games, but Indeed. someone has to do it. Someone does have to do it. So let me walk you through how to set this basic one up. All right, so this is just the base. I mean, you don't really need to set it on here for testing, but just, you know, for the purpose of showing you where everything goes, that's how the Wii sits. That's what this base is for, if you're ever, you know, wondering. So, so here is where you would plug in your GameCube controllers. Those are the inputs for those. And this is for your GameCube memory cards. This allows you to play your old GameCube games on the Wii. The system saves your Wii games, so you don't have to worry about that. That's just specifically GameCube. We don't usually test that part because we don't usually have GameCubes to test. So on the back here, this is where everything is connected. All the Wiis should come with this sensor bar. This is the bar that reads the remotes. So they're color coded, pretty straightforward. It's orange here, so I'm gonna plug it into the orange spot. And then for testing purposes, this is gonna go above the TV so it reads when you're looking at the game and moving your control accordingly, it will sense it there. Okay, next, power cord, essential piece of the Wii plug-in system. So the back here, everything has a different shape here in the back. So you're just gonna match this up with the slot where it fits. Oops, that's not it. That goes, this plugs into your wall or extension cord or any type of wall unit you may have for power. So that plugs in there. And these are the AV cords, okay? So here's the spot that plugs into the back of the Wii. Again, it's gonna be the only spot that fits this, which is right here. What are those up here, Melinda? I was just about to get to that, Adine. Thanks for asking. So these are your USB drives. That would be where you are plugging in those... Microscopes. Micro <laughs> those are gonna be where you're plugging in those microphones or extra accessories, things like that. So you can see why having that adapter that creates more options is beneficial. You're just gonna plug them into the outlets on your television. So just match up the colors, plug them in, and then if you have a TV like ours, you take your handy dandy tape and stick it in there to hold them in because otherwise they're loose. Yeah, this, <laughs> this has nothing to do with the system. This is our TV specifically. The jack is loose, so we just put that in there to hold it. So right. You don't need that step. Now, if everything's correct, I should be able to turn everything on. Notice the speed, the lightning speed <laughs> of that TV. Wow. Yeah, power and on. Power. That blue light is a good indicator. Okay, so notice that there's nothing in the TV. That's not the system most likely. It's most likely the cable. So notice I'm just jiggling this thing. Yeah, there. that that's the technical term. So if you're <laughs> if it doesn't work right away, but it looks like the Wii is operating, jiggle the cords. Jiggle. So that can actually be a pretty common common thing if they're not in there. Yeah. So next you're gonna need a remote. So we always keep batteries on hand. We prefer to use new batteries when we're testing things simply because it rules out any error on the battery part. One common issue that we do see is corrosion in the back of the battery. Make sure that these are readable. The battery has to connect to these silver. So if there's rust or corrosion, you have to work with that. You can scrape it off and see if that works. Uh, usually that does the trick if you just take the end of a screwdriver and you know start gently you don't just start ramming stuff in there to get it clean but that's a good way to sort of just create some connectivity it doesn't have to be the whole thing clean just enough for the battery to connect there okay, so batteries are in we'll test one here for you just to show you how that looks then we will test the guitar unit for you but we'll test the rest of the game separately 
How about Mario? So one thing, if you're not familiar with Wii's, if you never played them, the side that needs to be red needs to face the fat side. That's uh, the best way I can explain it. You just kind of touch it there and it should pull it in like it did there. And then we should see it come up here on the screen. And this looks like it's reading it. Yep, yeah. there it is. That's good. That's part one. And make sure your remote is on. Don't hold the power button because that'll turn your whole unit off. So just lightly hit the power of your remote. Make sure it's on. It'll light up here down at the bottom. So once you see the blue button, uh, if you want to zoom in, so this tells you if you're player one, two, three, or four. I just have the one remote on, so it's reading me as player one. And if it doesn't sync, this one did, you can see the number one hand up there and it's yep. moving around. So that's all synced. If it doesn't automatically sync, flip your remote over and there's a red button. So you'll have to sim simultaneously hit this red button and the sync button there. And once you do that, it should sync up the remote. This is already connected, but I'll just show you you know what that would look like so if i'm going to hit them both at the same time then this should be blinking everything should be blinking and then when it stops go ahead and check and see if your remote uh, comes up so as you can see it's there so we're synced up i'm moving it around it's moving in the direction that i'm going so just move it over to your game and select a Super Mario Galaxy. Yay! okay and sometimes there's options for more than one. Let's go to start. So far, so good. So typically, uh, this is where the issue is. Um, it will, you know, the disc won't read and it'll give you an error. This one requires a nunchuck. So Mona's gonna find a nunchuck. So these are the nunchucks and all they require is a remote and they connect to the bottom through that cord. So you just plug it in. Press A and B. B's on the bottom. Boop. Right, so we're just gonna play a little bit and if everything is good, then we'll be good to go. Yeah, we don't, you know, we're not gonna play the game to completion. It loads, it's working, the functions are working. So as long as we can get a little bit of screen time in, that's it. You know, this is a five minute or less process, you know, per game. Um, we don't need to spend a bunch of time here. Mm, the great space journey. And see, there's the option if you wanted to connect somebody, you could go to player two. So that's it as far as testing the Wii. We're gonna get a guitar so we can show you how we test those and then we'll do the GameCube for you. So I'm gonna walk you through how to test the guitars with the Wii. So we have one of the guitar games. One thing to mention is you do need a game with a guitar to test the guitars and you do need a game with a drum like Rock Band to test the drums. We get that question quite a bit there is no other way to test them. You need the consoles and you need a game that's compatible. So here's how the remote works. You flip this over and this like a nunchuck connects to the bottom here. Okay. Once it's in there, this is now, the guitar is now your remote. So you pop it in there. Okay. And when you flip it over, there you go, guitar remote. And this is gonna function like everything else. So here's what you're testing. You're making sure this works, you're making sure all of the buttons work, and you need to make sure this isn't super loose. Uh, this one feels fine, you just feel it by touch. There's ways to tighten them, we're not gonna cover that in this video. Um, this one's good, so you, that's just what we're gonna leave it at for this. You rock out, baby. So on here, once you have it on, your green and your red act as your A and B. So to skip, you can just hit the green button and I'll tell you right here, select or up or down. So here's your instructions. I mean, yep. they show you on the game itself. As so we go down to quick play, just easy. So usually we can test three to four guitars in a single song because all you're testing is to make sure these buttons are connecting to the game and so far I mean they are so 
You're just, hopefully we'll make it through <laughs> to all the colors. You don't necessarily have to be good at this. I'm not really good at this. You won't get through all the colors. The orange and the blue are typically reserved for like hard or very hard. Okay, so that's it. Um, the buttons work. So the drums is the same idea. We're not gonna set them up here, but you plug everything in cord wise. You just connect everything where it says to connect them. You need the game and then make sure it's all connecting. And that's it. Uh, make it through a song, not even a full one, and you'll be good to go. You'll know if it works or not. We will go through how to test the GameCube and we'll do that right now. The same idea with a different system. You plug everything into where it corresponds to. So you plug the controller into the controller tube and if it's just you, put it into player one. These correspond to those players, just like the Wii, one, two, three, four. So putting it to player one. And that's just where everything goes in on the back. So again, I'm just looking for the part that fits the plug. And the AV cords. So we've turned it on, and as you can see, it goes defaults to gameplay and it says no disc. So just pop a disc in. So it's powering on fine, it sounds fine, it looks like the game is going well, so this is very promising. So just hit start to skip all that. Memory card, that's fine. Just accept A. Okay, and I'll go Road Rage, just pick a game. Play like a minute, make sure it's working. It looks like it is. So this goes very quickly. You don't have to sit and test through a whole game. I know it sounds like that's what we do a lot, but you're really just the first minute, maybe couple seconds even. The more expensive games, you do want to test a little bit longer and a little bit more in depth, just to make sure. Um, especially if you're selling them separately. So let me show you what happens when you put in a game that doesn't work. We already know that this one doesn't work from a previous bundle buy. So I'm gonna pop that in for you, show you what it looks like. The GameCube looks like it's working and that's the unit itself. This is primarily testing for the games. So at this point we know that the unit works. We've already tested that. And even now it looks like it's going to work. So this is where when it comes to an expensive game, you do want to put the time in to get a little bit further. Don't just put it in and assume that once you get to the menu and it looks like it's going to work, that it's going to work. So I made it all the way to the start. It'd be great if it does work. Some, <laughs> some miracle right? so. yeah and it says the game disc could not be read so it'll stop you right there womp, womp, womp. there are ways to clean these discs and repair these discs we don't personally have the tools to do this so that's it as far as testing to see if those work we have a lot of testing to do so we're gonna get to that toddy snoring in the background of all the excitement that we just went through uh, we really hope that uh that you guys felt the excitement of this find with us today. We really wanted to just get on a camera and document it because it was such a crazy find. Yeah, and we hope that testing helps somebody who's not quite as familiar with the video game genre, mm -hmm. or if you're just getting your feet wet into it, that you can refer back to this and it'll just walk you through step by step, at least for the Wii games and for the GameCube games. And most of these consoles are pretty much the same. Like, mm -hmm. you know, the common errors, the discs won't read, they're too scratched up or dirty, the console doesn't, the fan doesn't work, the laser doesn't work. They're pretty common, you know, issues. You also want to test all your controllers for sure and test your games. Make sure that, you know, you know with confidence that it's working before you ship it out and take that gamble. Right, and if nothing else, maybe this inspires somebody who has been unsure about getting into video games. You know, you saw us walk through that. That was very straightforward. It's mm -hmm. not really difficult. It's not hard. I did not grow up playing video games at all. We never had mm -hmm. a single video game in my house. So for me to be able to test these, anybody should be able to do it. It's just sort of plug and play almost like a puzzle and it's sort of self-explanatory mm -hmm. and once you do one you'll get more comfortable with it and that will help boost your confidence so do not keep yourself out of the electronics game because you're intimidated by them right. there's nothing to be intimidated about just 
get in there and, and try it. And there's plenty of people also in the Instagram and the reseller community who would be willing to work with you and walk you through it too if it's your first time and you get stuck somewhere. And there's hundreds and hundreds of free YouTube videos you can yeah. watch. It says, how do I do this? How do I play this? How do I connect this? You can figure it out. Anyhow, we really hope uh, you enjoyed the video with us. And uh, yeah, do all the likey and the subscri subscribe-y stuff. Uh, we'll, we'll catch you guys later. Take care. Take care. Bonus footage. I forgot to mention how much I paid for everything. It was 25 per unit, 25 for the box of guitars, and 25 for the drums. Grand total of $125. And uh, we'll sell each Nintendo Wii bundle for about 100 to 130 ships. So, pretty excited about that. Plus, of course, all those games have a ton of value. Anyways, later.